Hello to you all. As Minister for Education, I am delighted to be part of the first virtual Young Adult Book Fest. I am an enormous fan of this wonderful festival of literature for young people and have in fact attended every year since its inception. COVID-19 means we are not in a position to join together in lovely Lidstone this year, but there is no doubt this virtual event is the next best thing. So a huge thank you to the innovative and industrious team in Lidstone for reimagining the festival this year and ensuring we can all once again engage with and indeed be enthralled by the world of storytellers and story makers, poets and playwrights, singers and songwriters, dancers and dreamers the very magic and mayhem of the world of literature. Thank you all. How appropriate that the theme for this year's Young Adult Book Fest is one of hope. Now more than ever, as we grapple with the uncertainty that is COVID-19, there can be nothing more reassuring than the comfort and consolation of a few well-chosen words of hope and positivity. I recall the playwright Samuel Beckett, who reminds us of the need for determination and resilience. Ever tried, ever failed, no matter. Try again, fail again, fail better. The singer and songwriter Leonard Cohen reminds us that nothing is ever perfect, but in imperfection, we can also find hope. There's a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. And of course, my personal favourite and perennial of the Leaving Certificate English syllabus, the poet Emily Dickinson, who advises us that, and I quote, Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. The world of literature, whether poetry, books, song, art, drama or film, is a world brimful of hope and positivity should we choose to seek it out. The Young Adult Book Fest is offering you a lens through which to view this magical and uplifting world. Draw upon it. Share it with each other. Enjoy. Gurma Hagwith